Why wouldn't I want to beat Daniela Riff? Why would I do this if I don't think that I can contend with like an Annie Haug or something like that? So it's kind of wild to think what's happened in the past year. Thirty-seven and a half weeks pregnant today. And I really wanted to try and run. I haven't been able to run in a couple weeks just because I have so much pelvic pressure, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's interesting to think about what was most important to me 12 months ago. My family and the people who are close to me in my life were the most important things then, but I don't know that my actions necessarily indicated that on a daily basis. My life revolved around how we could get the most out of me as an athlete. I knew you were going to be athletic. Part of it has to do with, you know, lifestyle and your mom and I's lifestyle has always been pretty active. I mean, that's what we've always done for fun. She was walking probably 11 months old and running and talking up a storm by a year. Well, certainly by ninth grade that kind of intensity became really obvious. A year ago, I was just coming back from training camp in Kona, actually, and I was gearing up and getting ready for some of the PTO opportunities that we were gonna have, and just like looking forward to being better than I had been in 2019. And so I don't necessarily think that that has totally changed and we still care about performance and I still care a lot about my job but I think that the moment that I knew I had a little person growing in my belly give me that this is your first practice ever. First practice. Ever. Have you ever changed a diaper in your life? Never. <laughs> Little poopy. <laughs> That's too big. Get out of the way. Okay. My very dear friend and training partner, Sarah Pian Piano, has been pregnant at the same time. Just two pregnant ladies running along, waddling. waddling along. <laughs> There's a lot of days when I wake up and I just like, you know, I get out of bed and my back hurts and my everything's aching and I'm feeling large and in charge. And the thing that gets me on my bike is the fact that Chelsea and I have arranged to do a Zwift, both from a motivation standpoint and just sharing the fears and anxieties that we both have over this. I think it's so important and I like believe so strongly that you know, when we like reach our mid to late 30s, that's when we're at our best. And having a family and reaching that point in our career shouldn't be mutually exclusive. I always been scared about getting pregnant because would that mean that I couldn't continue being a professional athlete at the same level? It's totally the opposite. The last years in the sport has shown that you can be a power mom and a good athlete at the same time. Listen to your own body. We are professional athletes in mind and in body, so listen to what it tells you to do. My like initial focus, of course, like will be my daughter for the first few weeks of her life. But from like career standpoint, my you know my big goals are to be back for the Collins Cup. It's definitely an ambitious goal, and I know that. I was just thinking in my head today, if I give birth on my due date, which is in a couple of, day of days. I'll have May, June, July to get fit and then hopefully race one time before the Collins Cup. So it's going to be a challenge, but I can't think of a more motivating goal to have on the calendar. Yeah, I'd like a goosebump thinking about it. T minus one day until due date. And we find ourselves here.
post bike session attempt. Pre swim attempt. Thirty-eight weeks pregnant this week, having a lot of belly tightness. Just leaving the hospital now. I have not really been feeling my baby very much the past couple of days, which is unnerving. But I feel like I'm already kind of turning into a neurotic mom and my baby has not yet arrived yet. I just feel like excited for this show to get on the road. Are you at all concerned about my ambitions to return to competition this season? I'm pretty convinced that you're going to be actually a better athlete on the return. I think you're going to be stronger, to be honest. It's been quite a journey, plenty of ups and downs, and we have all have learned a whole lot been taught about resiliency and I think you know the value when baby falls down baby needs to pick themselves up I thought I'd give it a go made it a mile in 11 minutes we have had so many chats together you and me <laughs> this one feels a little different I'm so, so excited to meet you. Really adorable little outfits. And I feel so lucky to be your mom. Hi, Mommy. I've thought a lot about what I want for you in this world. My deepest hope is that you feel totally comfortable being yourself. And are you going to do some dancing? <laughs> Whoever that is. And it is my privilege to help you find out. I hope that you are strong. Big arms, Chelsea. Big arms. And you are brave. But they were easy. I could even touch the ground with them. And kind. And that you show empathy for other people. Words, Chelsea. <laughs> I hope that you find a passion in this world. I hope you're a lot like your dad. Are you excited? Uh, super excited. <laughs> we are so lucky to be your parents and I cannot wait until you're here. People are just satisfied to get by on the scraps rather than having bigger ambitions, bigger vision for what's possible. Like I'm definitely not nailing it and I have a lot of work to do across a number of different things that why wouldn't I want to beat Daniela Riff? Why would I do this if I don't think that I can contend with like an Annie Haug or something like that, you know? Do I feel that other athletes will look at me differently and doubt my return to racing? I think the honest answer is I don't really care. We see women come back stronger. I actually don't even like the word come back. I'm trying to like think of it more as a return to racing. I'm not trying to be like what I was before, but actually reinventing myself to better than I've ever been before. <laughs>